So we've got the truck fixed and obviously the next thing we've got to do is uh, get it out and use it. So um, I am just having a, uh, a night away in the woods. Uh, got the truck in. Uh, as you can see it's uh, the height of summer and everything is in kind of full bloom and growth. Uh, loads of insects, loads of uh, vegetation, uh, plenty of firewood about still and uh, looking forward to a night in the woods. You know, I've got the BOV in, uh, the rooftop tent. I brought a couple of other bits and pieces. I'm not sure if I'm gonna sleep in it tonight or not, but uh, there she is. Uh, big thank you to uh, um, everyone that kind of followed the breakdown, uh, rebuild of the BOV and uh, all the uh, kind words and uh, encouragement that I received and it really helped. Um, so um, I think she's kind of pretty tickety-boo. There's still a little, you know, a little kind of niggling couple of little jobs that I want to uh, uh, do again just to make sure it's all uh, okay. But uh, I think it's sound enough to be out in the woods, you know, so I'm having a night away. Uh, might be uh, having a bit of company later. I'm still not sure. But uh, this is me. Going to start getting set up. And uh, welcome to a night in the woods. With Roach. Okay, so the setup is uh, as normal. Got the rooftop tent, just put the uh, little table on the side, getting bits and pieces out and kind of uh, dusting them off and putting them together. It's been a little while now since I've been out in the truck, and even I'm having to kind of remember how things go together and how little bits and pieces work. Um, uh, I'm going to leave the rooftop tent shut. And the reason I'm going to leave it shut is because I don't want it to fill up with bugs during the day, and then uh, obviously I get in there overnight and uh, they're already in there sort of thing so uh, my plan really is to put it up when I'm ready to uh, crash out and zip it up and hopefully that will kind of keep the bugs to a minimum it's nice to have a bit of airflow through something but um, in the same breath it's just the same as your tent you know if you put your tent up during the day and you just leave your tent open all that happens is it fills up with bugs and of course they're there all night to uh, pester you so if you've got a uh, uh, fly screens or if you've got um, bug nets you know put your tent up make sure that you keep those nets closed uh, and uh, if you haven't got bug nets I guess a uh, 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 nice little sort of tip and trick is just to um, put your tent up but collapse it during the day and uh, just put it up before you go to bed at night. When I uh, store my peak uh, stove, I try to always remember to put it away without any fuel in it. So one of the first jobs you've got to do really is uh, just top it up with your uh, fuel. I'm using, uh, I'm using unleaded petrol, but uh, this little stove would work pretty much on anything. It would work on alcohol, uh, the Coleman's uh, fuel, you know, anything like that. The other thing is just try to remember not to overfill them. put about 500 mils in that uh, little burner and I think that's probably going to do me for the time that I'm here but I've got another sort of 500 mils should I run out. Okay, it's about uh, four o'clock, so a um, little snack, you know, I'm going to probably cook some, um, uh, has hot dog sound. Uh, I've got a beautiful uh, kind of French loaf, got some lovely uh, sausages, so I'm just going to do some uh, sausage rolls. Uh, have a look, see if you fancy it. Fresh from the bakery, people. Premium pork sausages. Anybody fancy a sausage roll? Come on. So, uh, probably going to have an evening meal about sort of seven, eight o'clock tonight. But I'm just going to do some uh, sausage rolls for the guys. So I bought a French stick. Got some um, uh, pork sausages. So we're going to do these. And uh, I think I'm just going to uh, fry them in the pan. A bit of oil, you know. Uh, Maybe a bit of sauce, uh, I'll do a little bit of salad, I don't know, just in case uh, 
anyone wants a sort of BLT type uh, type roll, but uh, that's about it really, going to get some uh, food This is my little bottle of uh, cooking oil, or at least I hope it is. I always uh, got a plastic bottle, but I always put it in a plastic bag just in case the bottle leaks or whatever and you don't end up with, uh, uh, with oil absolutely everywhere. So I'm just going to cook the sausages off in a bit of oil. I think that'll do for now. So, uh, since I saw you last, I've uh, stuck my nose in the charity shops like I do. Came across a uh, set of six of these little uh, little knives. I thought they would be uh, perfect for, you know, when I'm out camping. Uh, they were uh, about a pound, I think. But that's the place to get your uh, kind of camping gear, really. Charity shops. They are an absolutely brilliant resource. So I'm just going to do kind of sausage rolls. Might do a bit of salad as well. You know, so it's kind of a BLT, but without the uh, without the bacon and with sausage. <laughs> got Lone Wolf here, and I've got another guest. So uh, I think this is going to keep us going very nicely. do with the fridge when I come out is uh, what I do with the fridge when I come out is I've got two um, two litre bottles of uh, water you know so just plastic sort of drinks bottles and uh, what I do is fill them up with water I put them in the uh, chest freezer and uh, when I come out I literally just uh, lay two big bottles of ice in the bottom of the uh, bottom of the fridge box and that kind of keeps everything else uh, Nice and cool while we're out. Let's knock up a bit of salad while we're waiting. I know that uh, Rich can't stand tomatoes, so I'll just put a uh, tomato on a couple of them. What I tend to do with pork when I'm uh, cooking it in the field is uh, you can't sort of take any chances really that it's um, not cooked properly. So I normally sort of zip it in half and then uh, just flash fry it face down. I think this will uh, keep us going. Service. Once I've cooked something, I always get a bit engrossed, always like want to get stuck in, and of course I forget to uh, forget to share it with you. I really like these sausages. <laughs> Cheers, people.